Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this little play we have a Pillen Drucker in the Tiger 131 that is 6 German uh, premium heavy tank. So Pillen Drucker is going to go with uh, Vince, Rammer, Turbo, kind of like a standard heavy tank build I would say. With a very nice amount of goal rounds but because this vehicle can use a lot of shells you can use like as much as you'd like basically right and this vehicle doesn't have the best of regular pen 145 it, it's okay but it's nothing special if the goal rounds 194 nothing special over here the he44 and 270 damage you know it's nothing special it's not bad it's not good um, but yeah it's pretty bad I would say when you find yourself against a few quite a few tier 8 vehicles on the enemy team and some tier 7s as well in this bottom tier matchup over here. So what is Pilindrika going to do? All of that and more right in a few seconds. Uh, but yeah, Tiger 131. So this vehicle has decent DPM, close to 1,900 damage per minute with this vehicle. Uh, base, of course, if you use gun rammers and stuff. Obviously that'll go up. There we go, we run through the low plate of the M4Y. Switching to gold immediately, as you should in this matchup when you fight those. My goodness, goodbye, Shkur T25. <laughs> uh, yeah, when you find those tier raid vehicles, uh, you you need to find those gold rounds. You'll not be able to go through with your regular rounds. But Tiger 131, you know, we went over the penetration. That is definitely not the best, not the worst, though. Uh, dispersion 0.38. Once again, not the best, not the worst. Uh, 2.3 second aim time, which is decent for this vehicle. 220 damage, which is rather surprising. You usually assume that these vehicles rather have 240, maybe 280 damage um, at times. But this vehicle actually has only 220 alpha damage, which kind of holds this vehicle back a little, in my opinion. It's still very good, though. I, I really enjoy it. Tiger 131 and Tigers in general like I really enjoy playing Tigers I don't know what about you but just as someone who enjoys learning about all of that stuff all of the uh, the tank warfare and all that stuff playing as the Tiger it's just it's just different in my opinion I just love playing as that uh, fearsome at least on paper foe I guess uh, but yeah when you look at the stats it's <laughs> getting blocked by the 229. It's not the best. It's it's not the best of vehicle. You will get pinned. As you can see, even though the shell dipped down into the gun mantlet, it's still gonna go through. Uh, because that mantlet is still not very strong. I'd say about 190 maybe millimeters of effective armor if you hit the uh the center of that mantlet, not where the gun is, but like right next to the gun, right? But yeah, I guess we'll go over to the armor if I'm already talking about it. No armor. If you angle a little bit, right, you will be able to bounce from time to time. Uh, but knowledgeable players will still be able to go through if you try to side scrape. Then this flat frontal plate becomes visible, as you can see. If you try to side scrape, that plate will just stick out like a sore thumb. Um, and it, it will be penetrated every single time. Every single time. It has 100 millimeters of armor over there. You know it's not good it's definitely not good you will be penetrated like I said but you still need to angle right you know sometimes people miss sometimes they don't even think about shooting that area they'll see side down will be like so maybe we can go through the side and they'll bounce off and stuff like that um, so always try to angle your vehicle this vehicle also has a huge cupola by the way which will be penetrated by everything once again uh, the turret itself is not the strongest so armor wise this vehicle is not strong. This vehicle is not uh, impressive at all. The gun. The gun is pretty nice. That 220 damage, it might not be a lot, but because you have that a very nice rate of fire, you will just see that damage stacking up and up and up and up. As, I, as you can see, I've been talking for quite a while and up to almost 3000 damage over here. Need to avoid the M4Y, but as you can see, even when angle like this, still easily going through that hull over here of the Tiger 131 which is very weak like I said but you know trading with the M4Y and actually winning is is just great it's amazing can we actually finish off there we go shutting down the tier 8 American premium 
um, heavy tank, yo tank, you know, those uh, double track, double track, double side track, I have no idea how to call them, uh, re reserve track, right, that is the name, yes, indeed, shutting down, 13 rate premium, American heavy, anyway, anyway, so what else does this vehicle have, um, it has okay top speed, it is 40 kilometers an hour top speed, 12 kilometers an hour reverse speed, but you won't reach that. Something that a lot of people, I guess, don't take into account is terrain resistances. And the terrain resistances... Oh my goodness, don't want to get hit by the IS rip. Uh, the terrain resistances also th on this vehicle are awful. Like, absolute trash. Even, you won't even reach top speed on hard terrain most of the time. Like, if you have a turbo, surely you won't be able to reach that. But without a turbo... You won't reach top speed even on hard terrain, that's how bad the terrain resistances are. And it will go down to like a quarter of your top speed um, on soft terrain, maybe a bit more, around 15 kilometers an hour when on soft terrain. But it's just absolutely horrendous and you do feel the effect when driving on anything that isn't hard terrain. Uh, with a Tiger 131, even with a turbocharger like Pilindrick has over here. But I mean, it's... If you can get into position and just dumb shells, dumb shells, shoot, fall back, shoot, fall back, shoot, fall back, kind of bait the enemy, right? Maybe make them miss a shell or two. You can do a lot of damage, as you can see right here, 4,000 damage already in a bottom tier matchup, which is ridiculous. Like, this is a really good match for any tier 6 vehicle in any matchup, right? But against tier 8s, absolutely amazing stuff over here. And the teammates are really good as well. I mean, this this is just a really good battle of the World of Tanks. And the FV is actually AFK over here. And I guess it's farming time one through the side of the FV-42 star. I'm trying to go forwards to hit that side a bit more easily because it can bounce. There we go. Need to watch out. That is the only area can pin. One more can't pin, unfortunately. Need to go forwards. Catch the FV in the side of the turret. Uh, there we go, make that area a bit more flat. Trying to put another one, I uh, did, uh, nope, not this time. Uh, not this time, but there's still a Pornak left on the enemy team. Uh, there we go, one into the, uh, tier 6. American heavy tank over there. You know what, it's actually a one-shot, like, it got hit two times, I'm like, okay. We're, we're chill, right, everything is good. But we're down to, to one-shot, 65 HP. Was it only two times? No, there was something else, right? The Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt actually caught us over here once as well. Um, anything else that I might have missed? That I might have missed? Thunderbolt didn't pen. Thunderbolt penned once, twice. Two shots by the Thunderbolt that I forgot, apparently. So, um, yeah, there's the Pornak. Can we catch the Pornak? It's a one shot versus a one shot. Tier 6 versus Tier 6. Pornak can actually catch. Uh, Pulling over here in the Capolo. Don't want that. Don't want that. I'm trying to make it more tense, you know, but this is, <laughs> it's basically game over already. But there we go, the Pornak is pushing forwards. One into the Pornak to finish off that tier 6 American Heavy Tank. GG. Well played, Pilindrick over here with 5,017 damage in this tier 8 battle. Absolutely amazing stuff. In the Tiger 131. Also, um, a cool detail. A cool detail, you can actually see, the Tiger 131 is a real vehicle, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that one before, but this is a Tiger 1 that was captured by the British forces in North Africa, after they fired into the gun of the Tiger, and then it ricocheted into the turret over here, which kind of, you know, made the turret get stuck over there. No, we do not care about updates, thank you World of Tanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it made the turret get stuck, and even though the Germans had orders to you to destroy every tiger they abandon like if it gets stuck if the whatever reason you can't go forwards with your tiger you had to destroy it you couldn't leave it as is but i guess the crew were just so terrified about the fact that something made their huge armored beast stuck that they just abandoned the tiger and yeah i mean if that didn't happen, we didn't have the Tiger 1 through 1, and we didn't have a Tiger 1, you know, working. This is the only Tiger 1 that is still operational to this day. Um, you can see it drive around on uh, Tiger Day, if I'm not mistaken, in Bovington Tank Museum in the UK. Um, but yeah, that is a cool detail they added 
to this vehicle. This is not a ricochet from the game. This is actually part of the uh, the model of the tank of the Tiger 131. But yeah, amazing game by Pillem Truck over here. Let's go and check out the post game stats to see how amazing this game was. There we go. Easy Ace Tanker for the 2082. Uh, the base experience earned over here. Actually, getting the second mark, is it? Is it the second mark over here? It, it doesn't show. I believe it is the second mark. Yes, three rings per mark. Second mark of uh, excellence. A bunch of lovely ribbons over here. I'm not getting a high. You won't be surprised, right? Why no high caliber? Well, remember that T29 that drove in front of Pillon at the start? If you actually hit your allies, um, even though there's no team damage anymore. You will still not get a high caliber if you do that, so that means that Pillendruck is not going to get that high caliber this time. Uh, but it wouldn't have been a high caliber with the 5,000 damage and 4 kills over here. Absolutely amazing stuff with a tier 6 vehicle against tier 8 vehicles. 29 shots hit, 28 hit. It's like only one of the shells missed, 24 penetrated, which is amazing as well. I mean, considering it was against um, tier 8 vehicles. And tier 7 vehicles most of the time. 5,000 damage, like we said, 224 from distance of more than 300 meters. Um, 6 hits received, 4 pen, 2 did not. Like I said, you can't really trust this vehicle's armor too much. It is very flat armor. Um, very weak, you know, 100 millimeters. It's definitely not a lot. It, it's just, it's bad. It's bad. You can still angle and bounce some shells. Uh, but don't trust the vehicle too much, right, in terms of armor. 115 damage blocked by the armor, one vehicle spotted, and 184 damage uh, due to the player's assistance. Eight vehicles damaged, four of those subsequently destroyed. In this eight minute, seven second battle, traveling almost two kilometers and making a small profit over here because, I mean, you do need to fire those skull rounds when you're against steering vehicles. It doesn't have the best of penetration on the standard rounds with 145. Uh, the goal rounds. Still not the best, 194 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it's definitely not the best in terms of pen, but when you make it work, you make it work. Like so credit where credit is due, amazing game by Pilandruk over here. And like I said, making a small profit of 48,000. I mean, it's not really small, right? 40,000 is a very decent amount of credits to get in this sort of a battle. Anyway, 20,000. Uh, basic, base XP, total XP, and 624 free XP earned as well in this battle. Um, and yeah, I guess this is it. GG, well played, Pill and Joker, amazing game. Congrats on getting your second mark of excellence. Definitely deserved after such a great, amazing, delicious battle with your Tiger 131. Um, but yeah, this is the final video about the new token vehicles that are available right now for free. If anyone is wondering why I made this video, like I usually said at the start of the video, but I, I forgot. Don't tell anyone, please. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can get four vehicles. You can get two out of four vehicles for free right now. If you go to the command center, get tokens, you can go to the command center, which I will leave a link to down in the, uh, in the description below. You can also watch Twitch streams, get Twitch drops on weekdays and weekends. Those are two different drops, so make sure that you claim all of them. But if you get every single token, you can get two out of 46 uh, premium vehicles. Tiger 1 through 1 is one of them. The other vehicles are the Tonga 2, the Cromwell B, and the Britannia Panther. Personally, I would go with Cromwell B first, uh, Tonga 2 second, Tiger 1 through 1 third, and the Britannia Panther fourth. That is like the, uh, the tier list, um, in my opinion. I just feel like the Tonga is, you know, with that preferential matchmaking, it will be more reliable. It will do more, more consistently. Sure, it's the slowest vehicle uh, at tier 6, but I just feel like it's very reliable. Especially with, like I said, that preferential matchmaking that it has, compared to the Tiger 1 through 1 that does not have that, and then it has to meet some tier 8 vehicles. But if you can get these results against tier 8 vehicles, you know, go for the Tiger 1 through 1, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Like I said, you can get this vehicle for free with tokens if you go to the command center, if you watch Twitch, get those Twitch drops, you can get the Tiger 131 for free. Um, but yeah, I guess this is it for this video. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the Tiger 131? Which vehicle are you going to get with the tokens? Uh, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And also, uh, there's going to be 
a giveaway over on the Twitch channel. If anyone is interested, it's going to be on Sunday, June 16th, on 9 a starting 9 a.m. Central European time. Uh, going to have a big birthday stream where they're giving away some gold, going to give away some Genshin Impact stuff, going to give away some lovely things, some Steam games, um, a lot of stuff, a lot of fun. So hopefully I'll see you all there. June 16th, Sunday, 9 a.m. Central European time is when we start. Uh, but yeah, if you want, like, all of the details should be right here, right now. If not, then Bafish was too lazy to edit it, and you should be upset with him. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is it for this video. So as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully see you all in the next video. Tata's people, have a good one.